Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Ankush. Welcome back to a new exciting After Effects tutorial. Today, I will show you how to create a nice dynamic glitch text animation. Something like this. So without further ado, let's fire up After Effects. At first, I will create a new composition. Here I'm selecting 4K resolution with 30 FPS and 5 seconds of timing. Now let's create a temporary solid layer. Here I'm selecting a dark blue color. And let's modify this layer, something like this. Let's activate title action save and shrink this layer something like this now let's grab this rectangle tool make sure to add a fill color and now let's draw some thin lines like this something at here let's create another shape layer let's create a thin line at here and somewhere at here altogether I will create five layers like this so let's keep drawing something like this and somewhere here like this and somewhere here like this so this is looking nice to me now let's hide all these layers and let's create another composition here i'm selecting 40 by 40 and let's call it box at first let me zoom it up so you can see it properly make sure to choose a fill color and select ellipse tool and double click on ellipse tool like this now open scale and scale it down something like this or maybe what i like to do let's go to composition settings and increase its size to 60 by 60 and let's scale up this shape layer to 50 yeah this is looking nice now the same way now i will deactivate fill and i will activate stroke make sure to use a white stroke color and double click on rectangle tool or maybe I like to increase its stroke a bit. This is looking nice. Let's collapse all these layers and drag and drop this box composition into our main timeline. Now I'll duplicate this layer four times. So now all together we have five box layers. Now open position and place these boxes randomly. Somewhere here and this one somewhere here and here and here now let's hide all these layers now i'll create another composition here i'm selecting 100 by 100 let's call it x now let's zoom it up so you can see it properly now i'll add a solid layer here i'm selecting a white background color like this let's adjust this layer like this now open rotation and rotate it to 45 degree like this now open scale delink scale and increase the y value something like this now let's duplicate this layer open rotation and rotate it to minus 45 degree like this now i'll do the same let's close this layer and drop this layer into our main project panel now again i will duplicate this layer four times like this let's select all these layers open position and scale now change their position randomly I'll keep it somewhere here and this one somewhere here for this somewhere here or maybe somewhere here and this one somewhere here now I'll adjust their scale randomly This is looking nice to me so let's hide all these layers for the timing now let's increase the timeline so you can see it properly now again grab this rectangle tool deactivate stroke and activate fill 
again I'm going to use a white fill color this time instead of some thin lines I'm going to draw some thick lines like this and somewhere like this and for next layer I will draw somewhere like this and somewhere here and somewhere here now what I'll do let's select all these layers and drop an effect called Venetian blinds let's increase the transition completion to 50% and change the weight value to 3 or maybe 5 let's duplicate this layer and change its direction to 90 degree now we are supposed to get this checkerbox effect now let's copy these effects from here and paste it on other layers like this or maybe what i can do maybe i like to increase the width value a bit or maybe i like to go for 11 yeah this is looking nice to me so let's change the width value for this effect let's do it on other layers uh, here or maybe what i can do let's copy this effect from here and paste it on other layers like this now let's delete old effects from these layers yeah now this is looking nice to me now what i'll do i will trim these layers so let's increase the timeline go to two frames now let's select all these layers and trim these layers at here and just reduce their size so each layer length should be two frames and activate all these layers yeah this is looking nice to me now what i'll do i will select one layer from each group and i will place them randomly at first i will start from two frames so let's select one layers from each group and place it just two frames further and i will repeat the same Yeah, this is looking nice to me or maybe what I can do let's change their position randomly like this now let's run another ramp preview okay this is looking better than before now what I'll do I will group these layers and I will pre-compose them for these layers I will call it lines and for this box I will call it box total and for this group i will call it x total and this set layer i will call it grid now let's check yeah this is looking nice one thing i like to mention for the timing i'm doing it roughly but i will fine tune them at the end of our animation so now let's select all these layers and pre-compose them and i will call it glitch try to go further let's organize all these composition so we can find them easily so let's create a new folder and I'll name it precom and now let's select all these layers and move to this folder now I will duplicate this glitch composition twice now I will drop another effect called shift channels like this for this first glitch effect what I'll do I will keep the red color only so so here I will keep the red channel active and I will deactivate green and blue one like this. Now let's copy this effect from here, paste it on our second layer. Here I will deactivate the red but I will keep the green active like this. Same way I will copy this effect from here and I will paste it on third layer. Here I will keep the blue channel active. Now select all three layers and open position. Change their blending mode to add. Now if you are thinking that you can see these red, blue and green channels separately. So let me tell you as you do know when you combine the red, blue and green colors together that creates a perfect white. So to separate these colors we need to move these layers like this. And for this green channel just somewhere here like this and for this blue layer just somewhere here so if I'll deactivate the blue solid now I believe you can see the RGB colors separately like this now we have done with our first part 
Now let's collapse all these layers and deactivate these layers for the time being. Now let's activate the blue solid again. And here I like to change its color to a white so you can see the next part properly. Now grab this rectangle tool, activate fill color. Here I'm selecting a dark blue fill color, something like this. And I'm going to do the same. I will draw some lines like this. At first I will start with some thin lines like this and something like this and somewhere like this. Now what I'll do instead of making new shape layer, I will duplicate the previous layer and on this second layer and I will draw more shapes on this layer. So what will happen with number of layers? Shape layers count will be increasing. So let's continue this way until the white solid won't get covered completely. Now at end I will draw a large shape layer which will cover the white solid completely like this. Now I will trim these layers again so let's increase the timeline. Select all these layers. Go to two frames and trim this layer at here. And just reduce it so our layers length should be 2 seconds only. Now again I will place these layers like this and let's continue and like this. Like this and I will drag this layer somewhere here. So this is our end point at 20 frames. Uh, let's check the glitch part again. Let's see. If the glitch part has ended at 20 seconds, maybe what I can do, let's go to composition settings and let's increase its duration to 20 seconds like this. Or maybe I have to increase its duration a bit more. Or maybe what I can do, let's increase it to up to 5 seconds. So let's check what is our end timing. It's somewhere here at 21 frames. And this shape layer also ends at 21 frames. Now let's select all these layers and precompose them. I'll call it background glitch. Now let's run a ramp preview so you can see it properly. Yeah, this is looking nice to me. Now let's open its opacity and reduce to 50% like this. Now let's go to main project panel. Now here let's duplicate this background glitch layer and I will name it text reveal. Now let's go to text reveal layer. Here I like to modify this layer a bit. What I'll do for this layer, let's go to this layer, go to content and pick some random numbers and delete them. And instead of that, I will draw some new shapes like this and something like this. And for this last layer, Let's go to content, again let's delete a layer and instead of this last layer, let's draw a large shape layer like this. Yeah, this is looking nice. Now I'll create a new text layer, here I'll write dynamic glitch and instead of this white, let's select a different color so you can see our text properly, here it is. Now align this text to the middle. Change this anchor point to the middle, somewhere here. Adjust text size according to your text. Now I'll drop an effect called decoder on this text layer. Now open this text layer, go to text, go to animator 1, open range selector 1 and go to advanced. 
Now here, now to get the same decoder effect, you need to turn on this option called a randomize order. Now let's hit U to reveal all keyframes. Now let's slide your slider bar to 2 seconds and drag this last keyframe at here. Now open scale and delink scale. Now create a scale keyframe at here. Let's go to few frames back and scale it down like this and place this fast keyframe at the start of our timeline. So it will look like this. Now what I'll do, I will drag this text layer below background glitch. Now let's drag and drop this text reveal composition into our timeline. Select all these glitch layers and pre-compose them. And I will call them glitch effect. Now place this glitch effect layer on top of other layers. For this text layer, change track mat to alpha mat and activate background glitch. I'll run another ramp preview. So it will look like this. Now we are almost done. So I will fine tune all these layers. But prior to that, let's go to glitch effect and activate all these glitch layers. So let's run another ramp preview. Or maybe what I like to do, let's increase the timeline and move this glitch layer at two frames like here and move this background glitch at four frames and move this text reveal at five frames and also move this text layer to two frames. So the animation will look like this. Let me check once again. Or maybe I like to change the font a bit. I like to go for something bold. So if I'll deactivate this solid and if I'll activate the transparent, let me check. Yeah, this is almost looking nice to me. Or maybe what I can do, I can change the text layer placement a bit like this. But if you want to change the background glitch color, you can use some gradient. I'm going to use four color gradient here. And I will change the colors like this. And maybe. And let's change their position like this and like this. You can select any color. You can place this color position according to your taste. And let's increase the text layer size a bit like this align this layer to the middle yeah this is looking nice to me and for this text reveal layer i'm going to use vanity and blinds effect again so that will create a nice checkerbox looks for this text layer let's tweak its settings a bit like this and maybe 10 will do uh, let's change the width value a bit First, let's zoom it up so we can see it properly. Now let's duplicate this effect. Yeah, this is looking nice. But if you want, you can keep the single effect here. And you can play with the settings as per your test. Now let's deactivate the white solid and let's run another RAM preview. Now let's reduce the background glitch layer opacity a bit like this and let's run a ramp preview. Yeah, this is looking nice to me or to show you what I can do. Now to show you, I have imported this picture. So let's drop this picture somewhere here. Let's reduce its size and let's delete this white because we don't need this anymore. Now let's select all these layers and pre-compose them. I will call it dynamic glitch. Now open scale and scale it down a bit like this and place it somewhere here. And I like to change the background glitch layer scale a bit like this. And also I like to fine tune their position somewhere here. Yeah, this is looking nice. So let's go to our main composition and run another RAM preview. Yeah, this is looking nice to me. 
or if you don't want to use the four color gradient you can deactivate this and let's run another RAM preview so this is also looking nice to me now let me zoom it up so you can see it properly now going through dynamic glitch activate four color gradient and if you want you can change color and their position as per your taste and finally what I'll do let's go to three seconds slice up this layer like this and going through time let's activate time reverse layer let's delete this layer and let's increase it okay and for this layer let's increase its size and trim this layer at here so the animation will end up like this now if you run a ramp preview you can see this is looking quite nice And guys, after some fine tuning, let's have a look into our final file. So that's all for the day. If you do like this video, please hit the like button. Still, if you are new to this channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I believe this tutorial will save your bills from buying tech templates. So a minimum support through donation will be very much appreciated. And guys, I'm also live on Instagram TV. If you want to follow me there, here's my channel link coming on screen. So thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Have a blessed day to you. Bye and see you again. Peace.